SN 1006 was a supernova that is likely the brightest observed stellar event in recorded history, reaching an estimated 7.5 visual magnitude, and exceeding roughly 16 times the brightness of Venus. Appearing between April 30 and May 1, 1006 AD in the constellation of Lupus, this guest star was described by observers across China, Japan, Iraq, Egypt, and Europe, and possibly recorded in North American petroglyphs. Some reports state it was clearly visible in the daytime. Modern astronomers now consider its distance from us to be about 7,200 light years. Historic reports Egyptian astrologer and astronomer Ali ibn Ridwan, writing in a commentary on Ptolemy Tetrabiblos, stated that the Spectacle was a large circular body, two and a half to three times as large as Venus. The sky was shining because of its light. The intensity of its light was a little more than a quarter that of moonlight. Or perhaps, than the light of the moon when one quarter illuminated. Like all other observers, Ali ibn Ridwan noted that the new star was low on the southern horizon. Some astrologers interpreted the event as a portent of plague and famine. The most northerly sighting is recorded in the Annals of the Abbey of St. Gall in Switzerland, at a latitude of 47.5 degrees north. Monks at St. Gall provide independent data as to its magnitude and location in the sky, writing that, I, in a wonderful manner, this was sometimes contracted, sometimes diffused, and moreover sometimes extinguished. It was seen likewise for three months in the inmost limits of the south, beyond all the constellations which are seen in the sky." This description is often taken as probable evidence that the supernova was of type Ea. Some sources state that the star was bright enough to cast shadows, it was certainly seen during daylight hours for some time, according to Songxi, the official history of the Song dynasty sections 56 and 461, the star seen on 1 May 1006 appeared to the south of constellation D, east of Lupus and one degree to the west of Centaurus. It shone so brightly that objects on the ground could be seen at night. By December, it was again sighted in the constellation D. The Chinese astrologer Zhou Keming, who was on his return to Kaifeng from his duty in Guangdong, interpreted the star to the emperor on May 30 as an auspicious star, yellow in color and brilliant in its brightness, that would bring great prosperity to the state over which it appeared. The reported color yellow should be taken with some suspicion, however, because Zhou may have chosen a favorable color for political reasons. There appear to have been two distinct phases in the early evolution of this supernova. There was first a three-month period at which it was at its brightest, after this period it diminished, then returned for a period of about 18 months. A petroglyph by the Hohokam in White Tank Mountain Regional Park, Arizona, has been interpreted as the first known North American representation of the supernova, though other researchers remain skeptical. Earlier observations discovered from Yemen may have seen SN 1006 on April 17, two weeks before its previously assumed earliest observation. Remnant SN 1006's associated supernova remnant from this event was not identified until 1965, when Doug Milne and Frank Gardner used the park's radio telescope to demonstrate a connection to known radio source, PKS 1459-41. This is located near the star Beta Lupi, displaying a 30 Arcman circular shell. X-ray and optical emission from this remnant have also been detected, and during 2010 the HESS Gamma Ray Observatory announced the detection of very high energy gamma ray emission from the remnant. No associated neutron star or black hole has been found, which is the situation expected for the remnant of a type Ea supernova a class of explosion believed to completely disrupt its progenitor star. A survey in 2012 to find any surviving companions of the SN 1006 progenitor found no subgiant or giant companion stars, indicating that SN 1006 was most likely a double degenerate progenitor, that is, the merging of two white dwarf stars. Remnant SNRG 327.6 plus 14.6 has an estimated distance of 2.2 kpc from Earth, making the true linear diameter approximately 20 parsecs. Effect on Earth 
Research has suggested that type Ia supernovae can irradiate the Earth with significant amounts of gamma ray flux, compared with the typical flux from the Sun, up to distances on the order of 1 kiloparsec. The greatest risk is to the Earth's protective ozone layer, producing effects on life and climate. While SN1006 did not appear to have such significant effects, a signal of its outburst can be found in nitrate deposits in Antarctic ice. Topic. See also History of supernova observation List of supernova candidates List of supernova remnants List of supernovae Near-Earth supernova Topic. References Topic. External links Cause of supernova SN1006 revealed the 27th of September 2012 at Universitat de Barcelona Stories of SN1006 in Chinese literature PowerPoint National Optical Observatory press release for March 2003 Simulation of SN1006 as it appeared in the southern sky at midnight May 1, 1006 Entry for supernova remnant of SN1006 from the Galactic Supernova Remnant Catalog X-ray image of supernova remnant of SN1006, as seen with the Chandra X-ray Observatory Ancient rock art may depict exploding star Astronomy picture of the day a pod, March 17, 2003 Astronomy picture of the day a pod, July 4, 2008 Margaret Donsbach, The Scholar's Supernova SN1006 on Wikiski, DSS2, SDSS, Galax, Iris, Hydrogen Alpha, X-ray, Astrophoto, Sky Map, Articles and Images. <laughs>